Are you in a relationship where you just don't understand? Things just aren't going right. You can never seem to do anything right in your person's eyes. Where they always find fault or something wrong with you. We're going to get into things that narcissists say to keep you stuck. And as a narcissist, this could be a man or a woman. It doesn't discriminate. But I'm going to get very precise. And I apologize ahead of time if I offend anyone. But these are things that are said. The narcissist in the beginning is very charming, very funny, you know? They kind of pull you in. Then slowly but surely, the narcissist starts to whittle away at your insecurities. It may be something that you've told them, some kind of secret you've entrusted to them, and they throw it right back at you. They use it against you. Or they kind of discredit it. No matter how hurtful that secret was, they'll discredit it. Like you were totally making it up. The next thing a narcissist will do is to make you feel like anything you do is not correct. If you say something, oh no, that's not correct. If you do something, you're definitely not doing it right. And you may not be able to do it right in the narcissist's eyes. Nothing you do, no matter how hard you try, nothing you do will ever measure up because they're always going to think that they can one-up on you or they're so much better than you. They can do it better. And they may even show you how to do something. And you mimic every detail of what they showed you. And you still can't do it right. Another thing is a narcissist will... downgrade constantly maybe you need to lose weight maybe your wrinkles are getting a little deep maybe that gray hair is coming through they notice every little detail maybe you look too tired or maybe you have gained a little weight the narcissist will focus in on every imperfection you have and magnify it till that insecurity is so deep ingrained in you that you feel like no one <laughs> will ever see you in a positive light no one will ever see you as attractive or kind or loving um, a lot of times you'll be made feel you'll be made to feel like you're a totally bad person you know and I was in a narcissistic relationship for over 30 years and it got worse a lot worse. So, things may not be as drastic as what I'm explaining, but trust and believe. They don't get better. They just get worse until the narcissist sees their behavior and wants to change. A narcissist will all also tell you that you're not doing enough 
whether it's housework, whether it's paying bills, or even taking care of them. You're not doing enough. You need to do more. You need to work harder. It doesn't matter if you're working a 40 to 60 hour job and they're only working a 20 to 30 hour job. Or maybe they don't even work at all. But you are not doing enough. You need to come home from work. You need to take care of the bills. You need to take care of the kids, the house, and whew, <laughs> tiring, isn't it? Yeah, you need to do more. You can never do enough for a narcissistic person. And there's many more things, more intimate things, like intimately, they'll tell you, you can't do that right neither. <laughs> um, or you don't smell good, you don't taste good. They'll get really nasty with something, you know? And this is where I need to apologize. Um, the narcissist will make you feel very inadequate in any and every way. And sometimes you may feel like the easiest way to deal with it is to shut down because they have you feeling so stuck like you're just totally trapped like there's no way out like there's no way you can do anything on your own because you're just not capable and you have that fear instilled in you for so long that it becomes real. I think it's similar and some might be offended, but it's similar to going into battle. You know? The PTSD from trauma from a narcissist is totally real. And I'm not sure if I'm not sure how long it takes to heal from that trauma. And I'm not sure how long it takes to become someone who is healthy enough for that next relationship, you know? healthy enough to be loved because you were unlovable for so long. You pour yourself into work. You try to stay away from home as much as possible. So of course you put in more hours, more activities with the kids more ways to get out. But with a narcissist, a narcissist will have you socially distance everyone who's important in your life. You will socially distance yourself from the embarrassing questions you know, how are things going? Just simple questions. This should be really nice. You know, but it's it's embarrassing to lie. It's embarrassing to tell someone exactly how you feel and how inadequate you feel. And how withdrawn and depressed 
you feel, you know? And I don't tell you this to get a reaction. Spirit led me to put this out there in hopes that someone else don't go through it. Because as soon as you meet the narcissist, as soon as you see the signs, get out. Get out of it. Because it's damaging. It's very damaging. And if you don't, you'll stay as long as I did. Almost a half a lifetime is wasted. Not able to be regained in any way. And then trying to heal from the trauma is hard, very hard. <laughs> it's funny, people, people tell you how strong you are for the things that you've endured. Like it's a badge of honor. But you don't see it like that. You don't see it as a badge of honor. And you don't even see it as being strong. Trauma is real. So when you see the narcissist, run the other way. It don't even have to be physical abuse. A lot of time with the narcissist, this is purely mental, manipulative, calculating. They don't have to put a hand on you. Their words, their words do it all. And it cuts deeper, at least with bruises, they heal, you know? This takes much more time, much more time to heal. And now I'm ranting. Yes, but I hope that this helps someone. If you see the signs, if the narcissist, female or male, it doesn't matter. A female can be your husband, your wife your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your best friend, your mother or your father. A narcissist can be anyone in your life. And that pain that they inflict is real. And it hurts. And that trauma that's left behind takes an awful long time to heal. So be blessed. Look for the signs. Be observant. Get to know somebody really well before you jump into anything. And if you have a narcissist friend or a narcissist parent, 
It may be healthy or wise to distance yourself, no matter who it is. Many blessings. If this is a blessing to you, please like and subscribe. This is not my typical content, but this is what Spirit led me to deliver. Many blessings to you. Love and light. If you would like to donate, to my channel, my cash app is dollar sign Renee Tarot, and I'll have that in my description box. Take care. Be blessed and loved.